Uh, I had an encounter with an imam who was a spiritual leader in the Muslim faith. Uh, along with others, I held a seminar, or a conference, I guess you'd call it. Um, I think we called it uh, not just on Sunday or Friday or Saturday. And it was an interfaith gathering. So we had some prestigious religious leaders from uh, Christianity, Judaism, and we had this imam. And he spoke so beautifully. He spoke about a word in Arabic, which is ayah, or ayat, I think is the plural. But an ayah is a window of heaven, a window of heaven. And he told us how in the Islamic faith, any experience of life, any form of life can be an ayah. It can be a window of heaven. And he said in their faith that for a man, the most open window of heaven is a woman. And for a woman, the most open window of heaven is a man. But all, all forms of life could be an ayah. There's another meaning to the word, which is a verse in the Quran. A verse in the Quran is a window of heaven to a Muslim person. The word may be familiar to you from the word Ayatollah. For us Americans, doesn't bring up good memories if you were around at the time of the Iranian revolution. But I thought that was so beautiful. And here is this other beautiful word, fitra. I want to read something regarding fitra. Assuming I brought my glasses with me. Fitra is an inborn natural predisposition which cannot change and which exists at birth in all human beings. What makes our religious understanding positive is that it not only acknowledges fitra as a natural predis predisposition, but also one which is inclined towards right action and submission to Allah, the one God. An inborn natural predisposition. I found out that in the Islamic faith, all of nature, all of creation is filled with fitra. I, I, all, all forms of life have this natural predisposition, inborn spirituality, the soft spot, the point of connection. But the difference between all the rest of nature and us as human beings is that for us, fitra, yes, it's that, but it's also this predisposition, a natural predisposition, which is inclined towards right action. In other words, they're recognizing that there's something different about us as human beings, that we're conscious. The rim rock up there isn't thinking about whether or not to be a good rock today or not. It's just sandstone. It just is itself, and it cannot help but be itself. But apparently, we as human beings have acquired this wonderful capacity not to be ourselves, not to act out of our fitra, out of our primal spirituality, but somehow consciously to go off course and mess our lives up, driving into metal railings and doing other things <laughs> that are maybe not quite that obviously destructive. And yet, there is the impulse to be consciously aligned with the oneness of all things. And oneness 
is a primary tenet of Islam. It is. It's a primary tenet of Islam. Oneness.